We got Monster on the ready and the phone is on Do Not Disturb. Let's get started. Don't apologize in advance for today's final story. It gets a little bit weird towards the end, but of course we've got a bunch of other really important news that I cannot wait to tell you guys. That is right, like clockwork, today we are going over the upcoming sneakers, sneaker news and leaks and everything to do with the sneaker industry, a bunch of release dates. Today is where you get updated on the upcoming sneakers. So like always, we got to do a release recap and and I, for the life of me, cannot think of what has dropped. Like, the only thing I can think of is these Jordan 1, the Atmosphere, or the Bubblegums. Now, I know that these dropped originally in the US. However, they were delayed here in the UK. They finally released, I believe, on Friday, maybe Saturday. And that's about it. Am I completely just forgetting what has released over the past few days? Or, I don't know, let me know down in the comment section, has anything else dropped if you managed to get anything? If so, uh, again, let me know down in the comment section. And also let me know if you got these bubblegum Jordan 1s. I took an L, plenty of other Jordans coming, so I'm fine with that L, to be honest. Since it's Sunday, and uh, Yeezy brand likes to do a couple releases on a Monday, they actually have one loaded up and set to drop tomorrow. This pair of shoes right here, this is the Yeezy 700 MNVN. Um, yeah, how exciting, guys. <laughs> I mean, we knew this was coming. We we kind of spoke about this last year. So if this is the colorway that you were like, yo, out of all of the other MNVN colorways, I need this one, then uh, you're in good luck because there are raffles up. The confirmed app, I believe, is loaded up. I'm not too sure. I haven't checked, but I believe it should be loaded up because these are going to be dropping tomorrow. If it's not up on the confirmed app, just know that they're going to do a queue drop. It should load up at some point today or maybe in the morning tomorrow. They're going to be there and uh, you should have no issues grabbing these so if you wanted this resin colorway of the MNVN if this is the one that you would just have to pull the trigger on uh, you should be able to get it but let's keep it moving we're gonna stick within Yeezy brand because apparently apparently we have a release date for the Yeezy 500 uh, blood apparently it's dropping on February the 19th so I believe the original restock date was supposed to be December and then it didn't happen so everybody was like yo okay January we're getting this pair of shoes well now it is like pretty much the end of January and now people are looking at February. So again, grain of salt, but this is probably the most concrete date that we've had so far, the 19th of February. So if you're after the restock of the Blush 500, um, well, hopefully it does actually drop on February the 19th. All right, something we have spoke about quite a bit, the uh, the upcoming Yeezy 350 Pure Oats. So we don't really have any new information, but I did want to show you guys these on foot images because you know what? It's kind of getting me excited for these things. You know, like, okay, I get it, 350s, they may not be the biggest thing. Um, a lot of people are kind of moving onto different Yeezy models or different sneakers in general. I don't know, I just personally love triple white pairs of 350s and seeing them on foot just really confirms that for me. I'm going to need this pair 100% for the summertime just to throw on an all white pair of 350s is gonna be something I'm just super into. And I think, um, you know, anybody who missed out on like, I don't know, maybe Statics, the Cream 1.0, this is your next best option. It's got the pull tab. Again, just to remind you guys, the release date on this is apparently spring. We don't have an exact month, um, but I would imagine maybe March, May, April, I don't know, around that time. Let me know if you agree with me or if you're just like, meh, it's a white 350. I did a video a couple days ago about uh, like my top 10 favorite sneakers that are going to be dropping in February. And one of the ones I mentioned was this Yeezy Desert Boot. The oil and the rock colorway are both going to be restocking for the, I believe, the third time now. Uh, and it's going to be on February the 24th. So later on this month, it looks like Yeezy's back in the swing of things in February. You know, they took a little bit of a month off here in uh, in January, only dropping the MNVN. February, let's go, son, let's go. I need to see some more Yeezy releases. Here's a really interesting post that I kind of wanted to share with you guys. Um, and that is the situation out in Shanghai, I should say situation or just what's going on in terms of sneaker releases. So take a look at this picture here. We've got uh, a post from Z Sneakerheads and it's and he just basically says tons of Jordans still sitting over in Shanghai. And I was looking at this picture and I was like, damn, like think about pretty much all of these sold out everywhere that I know, UK, US, but the Electro Orange Jordan 1s, the Pollens, the, uh, what are those ones called? The Fusion or something like that? I can't remember. We got Lightning Force sat on the shelf. That's crazy. 
crazy. They got a bunch of mids as well. Every country's kind of different in terms of like what style of sneakers are trending, what are people wearing, and obviously the US has probably got to be one of the most heavy like Jordan wearers, I guess, obviously. Let me know wherever you are in the world, do you have any crazy gems just sat on shelves in your country? That'd be very interesting to hear down in the comments, but uh, let's keep it moving. So we got some more images of the upcoming 350 compact slate. I also got a release date apparently. So we knew it was dropping in February. However, now apparently it's gonna be at the beginning of February on the 14th. So really not that long to wait at all, maybe two and a half, three weeks. So we've got some more images. Originally, I think this was the only image that we saw. This sneaker is, is it gonna be super limited? Because I've hardly seen any images of it. This is the first time I've seen someone with a pair uh, and it's thanks to I believe Yeezy influence on Instagram who shared these images I'm still not a fan of the brown or whatever color they added into the upper all right we got some close-up looks at a Jordan 1 bread that is coming soon take a look at the picture yeah we, we got a stacked midsole on this bruh so this is the elevated Jordan 1 low and I guess it's a platform Jordan 1 low. I, I just cannot get over how bizarre this looks, but they are bringing, you know, the, the bread colorway to this as you would if you're gonna release, you know, some crazy pair of Jordan 1 lows. You wanna get some sales, well, you're gonna do, you know, the most popular Jordan 1 uh, colorway. Now, some interesting things is the insole. So take a look at that. We've got a nice little graphic up there. Nike Air branding, it's all over cork. Um, but anyway, anybody who's interested in this platform Jordan 1 February, apparently at some point again this one's not really for me but you know clean colorway why not uh, we got to talk about some dunks guys we got to get into the dunk news well guess what we finally have some release information on these paisley dunks that I feel like I've seen pop up everywhere like everybody's talking about these things uh, it's pretty much just a regular color blocking pair in fact you know what they're taking the most popular color blocking pairs of dunks throw in a paisley swoosh on it and calling it a day. So this is, I guess, the UNC one or the light blue, something I think that will be obviously very popular. I'm not mad at the paisley swoosh at all. I feel like, you know, it's, it's not that big of a change up. In fact, it might even add something a little different, different to the dunk low. February, now we finally have a release date, the 18th. So February the 18th for this dunk low blue paisley. Um, and I believe that's just gonna be a regular global drop. So this one is actually something I'm pretty excited in because if you guys remember there was a pair of Bordeaux dunk lows that dropped however it was woman sizing now I believe this is going to be kind of men's sizing so a wider range something we can all get our hands on and I was a huge fan of that Bordeaux color and this is looking very very similar if anything maybe it has a little bit more of a red deep red kind of cherry type of color to it 2022 though we don't actually have a release date these are I believe official images it definitely looks like Nike images so we should be seeing this I would imagine in February like they're just gonna do a huge you know dunk drop with a bunch of different colorways because we're still not done talking about this we've got some more dunk lows and that is the green paisley something I believe we haven't seen just yet so yeah all over you know traditional color blocking you got the green and the white as the base just a green paisley swoosh this one again is no specific release date however with the blue paisleys dropping in February I would imagine these come around the same time we've got official images for all of these things so I I imagine these are right around the corner. All right, one that I actually posted to my Instagram stories, trying to get your guys' opinion on these. And you know what? A lot of you guys actually were just saying how much you loved this pair of shoes. So this is what I'm talking about, the Amar Menier Jordan 2. Um, and I don't know what I was, I guess I was expecting from people, you know, people's opinions. Was I expecting people to say, yo, I still hate the twos and I don't like them. Um, but a lot of people were like, yeah, these are dope. Amar Menier came through and I think they kind of just did their thing. I think this is obviously taking a lot of inspiration from the Jordan 1 that they did just do. So there's a lot of design cues like the material being all over cracked leather on the upper. Um, you've got a lot of the same kind of colors on it. And one thing I think is a little bit strange is this snakeskin midsole, which like I understand, you know, premium, we're going for like this premium touch, but I feel like it's a little bit much 
you know, covering the midsole in it. Like when it was on the ones, it wasn't too bad. It's around the ankle area. It looked fine. You know, it's like, okay, but this is a very strong, like this is, you know, we're coming forward with this snake skin. You know, I don't really like shoes with a bunch of exotic materials. It's not really my thing. And this kind of puts it in that category. It's a very, you know, bold piece of the shoes design that they chose to cover in snake skin. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Can I get over it? For sure. Um, in, in looking at this image here where he's done the lace swap, I actually like the darker one. I think that makes the shoe look super clean. Definitely one of the better Jordan 2s that I've seen. Along with all of these on foot images, we do have a release date, April 29th, which I believe I've told you guys about, but it's only now that we've had these really, you know, good on foot images. So I definitely wanted to show you guys and I would love to for you guys to chime in down in the comment section. Is this something you've, you've found a twos now? Is this making you like twos a little bit more? If it does, um, that's cool. And I'm, and I'm interested to hear your thoughts. <sighs> Another dunk, damn. Just can't get enough of it. Okay, so we got an SB dunk uh, coming up. The Nar Hunters collaboration, never heard of it. Uh, look, we could summarize this story in like 50 seconds. 30 seconds, give me 30 seconds on this one. It's all over black, has super interesting materials, has a new lacing thing which looks to be elasticated and it has a little pull toggle, so that's different. It's got the Nar Hunters brander, branding, brander, branding on the tongue. Um, it looks clean. I think it could definitely be something that you could work into your rotation pretty easily. Uh, no release date, so I would say sometime very soon. We've got official images, uh, but that's pretty much it. I don't know whether I went over 30 seconds or not, but hopefully I didn't. It's it's a nice black and maybe a little bit of white dunk low. Another dunk low. How many more freaking dunk lows have we got? Okay, only a couple more. I'm just gonna try and speed through them. I didn't realize we had so many dunks that we were gonna talk about today. Uh, coconut milk, guys, coming again sometime in 2022. More official images. There's just going to be, I think February, March is just going to be jam packed with Nike dunks. This one is pretty clean, nothing crazy. I don't think I'm gonna be leaping out of my seat to grab it. I feel like maybe if I got it for retail, I wouldn't be too mad at all. And I feel like I could rock these. They've got a nice, you know, kind of, you know, toned down vibe to them. They could probably fall into a nice little summer fit, I think quite well. But again, no exact month, just 2022. So hopefully soon. All right, guys, I promise I promise, I promise this is the final Nike Dunk story that we're talking about today. And of course I saved the best for last because this is the Union LA collaboration. Three colorways, there's a blue, a green, and this purple one. When are they dropping? Everybody is saying February, but this specific article is saying, and I believe it's attached to this specific colorway, February the 1st, which, you know, zero raffles have popped up, nothing has been kind of said about it. I highly doubt these are dropping on February the 1st. I think these are definitely going to be dropping in February. However, February the 1st seems a little bit too soon. Maybe in the EU, guys, like if you can let me know if these have loaded up on Nike sneakers and they are ready to go, or if you've seen any raffles, let me know down in the comment section. But as far as I'm aware, they haven't seen anything. So maybe they shock drop it. I just highly doubt that. Okay, so New Balance 550. So what does what the New Balance 550 need in terms of collaboration? Well, I mean, they had Aim Leon Door and that did fantastic. They don't really need a collab. They've got a bunch of colorways that are really solid. People are loving the 550. But of course, Comme de Garcon has to step in and just make these a $500 pair of 550s. And of course, it's black and white because that's what Comme de Garcon does. You know, I, I'll, over the years, I've started to become pretty familiar with Comme de Garcon and their collaborations. And one thing you can always guarantee is that there's probably going to be a monochromatic black and white. And there's probably, or not just probably, there's guaranteed to be super high prices. Will the materials be better? I don't know. I mean, the materials are fine on all of the other collaborations. I don't think they need anything crazy unless this is like insanely premium, but it doesn't really look like that from this image. Am I completely missing the mark here? Let me know down in the comment section. These are going to be coming sometime soon in 2022. A specific month, not really. And now that we're getting these up close images, I don't think these are going to be great materials at all. I I'm not excited for these. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Now listen, something I'm actually Really, really excited about. I didn't expect it. So Sakai, right? We've seen some crazy stuff from Sakai in the past. I mean, especially last year, they did some incredible stuff. Recently, we got some information that they were going to be making a Cortez and we didn't have any images of the Cortez. So I was like, what are they gonna do with this one? Well, now we have a very small image, um, which is very pixelated, but 
this looks insane and it definitely takes a lot of cues from I guess kind of the vapor waffle they kind of have the same trend with their design double everything um, so I'm not surprised that they did something like this but I actually think these look pretty dope now again this is literally the only like image we have this is it that we don't have anything else other than this one colorway and this one image but if we look historically speaking at Sakai, they're probably going to drop this and a bunch of other colorways as well. Uh, but yeah, as far as the release date, 2022, at some point we don't have a specific month. I will keep you guys up to date. Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny is back and he is ready to go because we've got another collaboration in the works, working on a forum power phase. So it's kind of a mix between the forum and the power phase and it's almost just created a brand new silhouette like this looks like it's taken things from both and I kind of like it I'm not the biggest fan of the colors on it you know it, it's fine it's definitely not bad um, but right now it looks like these are official images they're very detailed they're very clean and in terms of a release date well let's have a look here what does it say 2022 no specific month so I guess sometime very soon again like it's been so stagnant in January I feel like things are just going to you know hit February and we're gonna start moving up a bunch of sneaker releases either way uh, let's keep it moving we're almost at that final story which is a bit scary I don't know what the hell I'm gonna say for that one um, I might just let the story speak for itself but either way before we get to that one the Air Force One Roman Empire so this one looks pretty crazy take a look at this all over patent leather but it's got a bit of a premium vibe to it and I feel like if you know like looking at this image that midsole does it look thicker than normal or is that just my imagination or the colors playing a trick on me fancy Air Force One there's some there's some spice mixed into this that you know makes it a little bit more distinguished like I feel like I could dress this shoe up a lot more than any other Air Force One. Now, uh, the release date on this is again just 2022. I feel like where the hell are the months on these things? Can we get an actual month? We've got a whole bunch of official images of stuff, but no actual month. Either way, um, if you're looking forward to this pair of Air Force Ones, again, 2022, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date like the rest of them uh, in terms of an actual release date. All right, finally, I guess we have to talk about this one. Do I even want to repeat the headline? Not really. Foot Locker employee accused of ejaculating into sneakers. <sighs> Let me take a sip before we actually dive into this. Essentially, the story here is bizarre, it's weird, it's, it's almost aggravating because shit like this exists, because stuff like this is, is out there happening. To be honest, I don't know where this story came from. I didn't really want to look too much into it. For anybody who has ever visited that store, maybe picked up shoes or bought shoes from there, I would be traumatized, if, if, quite honestly. But either way, there is a post from this Twitter account, The Dynamic. Okay, so it says, attention, this is Darion Kidd. He is the store manager of Foot Locker Bramalia uh, City Center. This disturbing video was posted on Darion's. Okay, so he posted it to social media. He, he made the video and then posted it himself. So that is like, I guess, suicide. He's gotta have some criminal charges for this, surely. As seen in the video, so Darren Kidd was in the inventory room uh, of Foot Locker completely naked, where later on in the video, he had confessed to ejaculating on shoes, then bringing them to storefront where customers could be exposed to bodily fluids. This is, I don't know why I'm reading so weird. <laughs> in addition to these trying times where health and safety is expected to be at peak measures, especially with COVID-19, Foot Locker has failed to meet customers' expectations. Like, I find it hard to understand why this person would do this. Either way, that is the final story for today, and uh, hopefully we don't get any more of these stories ever on another episode that we do here. So yeah, that's what I want to leave you guys with, which is great. I probably should have rethought how I went about this this video. Let me know what you think of today's video. Let me know what you think of all the topics. Let me know what you guys are excited for. Let's hear it down in the comment section again every single Sunday. So please subscribe so you can come back and hang out with me because today was great, wasn't it? Either way, guys, thank you so much for coming through, hanging out, liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then.